All right, in this Geek Tip video, I'm going to show you how to clean up and reset Google Chrome. In fact, this is a new version of our video for Google Chrome. We actually did one about five years ago, and since then, Google has made some significant changes to the user interface for Chrome. So, decided to rewrite the blog over on Geeks in Phoenix and uh, re do the video itself so let's go ahead and uh, start in with Google Chrome being the most popular browser out there it's actually probably one of the biggest targets too for adware and malware and, and the likes of that so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you places to look for hijacking browser hijacking and how to clean the, really clean it up good so let's go up here to the three vertical dots it's the customized control Google Chrome button we're going to click on it we're going to go into settings all of the categories over here on the left hand side left hand column including advanced are all actually right here on this page except for extensions and about Chrome those actually open up separate uh, pages so Let's go ahead and we'll start right here. We click on you and Google Chrome. You bring it up here. We've got uh, several, a couple different things here we want to look at. Uh, sync, and go Google, sync and Google services. Um, basically, it's, as the name implies, you can actually synchronize your passwords, bookmarks, um, all that fun stuff across multiple Google Chrome browsers. So if you've got Chrome on your phone or you know you got a couple of different uh, laptop desktop and you use Chrome on all of them you can actually synchronize all of your browsing data across all of these uh, all the different devices so it's definitely uh, if you you use Google Chrome on multiple devices it's definitely a uh, feature you want to look into uh, Google name and picture uh, you know it's kind of uh, personalization there import bookmarks and settings you know as the name implies you can import them from other browsers so it's you know fairly simple autofill as you see here autofill autofill you can put in passwords username and passwords for websites these are actually going to be part of the synchronized uh, settings so th these will actually get synchronized uh, payment options addresses these will all get synchronized if you select uh, synchronize across multiple browsers safety check is a, a good place to start when it comes to looking and resetting Google Chrome you can actually go through here and you can see what you know what Google has determined as being uh, uh, <coughs> bad safety practices. You know you can see if there's any uh, miscellaneous extensions that uh, Google has determined to be uh, malicious. Um, it's you know. Google's choice at that point but we're going to check the extensions later on and I'll show you that now we're going to go to uh, clear browsing data this is a, a good place to uh, start if you're having problems with Google Chrome trying to get into secure websites like banks and uh, likes of that um, I have a lot of clients that actually will have problems getting in because their caches uh, haven't been cleared out and they're logging into banks and whatnot and the the banks won't allow you to go in because you know you're you're using the cache data and not fresh data off their website so you know whenever if you're ever having a problem getting into a website you know just go in here to basic select time range of all time and clear data if that doesn't do it you can always go into the advanced but remember, anything you clear out here, you'll have to refill out. You know, if your passwords and your other sign-in data, you clear that here, you're basically going to have to 
remember you're using passwords for all the websites so it's uh something you you know do it carefully and uh do it one at a time you know if, if you're having problems you know definitely you know just you know do a password for the last hour or so you know take it step by step until the until Google Chrome starts working the way you need it to work so cookies and other site data this is where you know basically you define how Google Chrome is going to handle cookies so these are all default settings uh, blocking third-party cookies incognito is by, set by default um, though I did set clear the cookies inside data when I quit Chrome basically this will prevent uh, any problems with you know, like going to a bank site you know you clear out the cookies you clear out all that cache when you close Chrome and then when you open it up you basically you download all that new data uh, with used to be years and years ago when we were using dial-up connections for internet um, you know speed was extremely slow and you wanted to be able to load a page fast you'd use the existing cache what your browser had for data and only download what was new now that's all gone away now with with the high-speed internet we have now so there's no reason in in keeping that cache uh, for you know after you've done browsing clear it out also sending a do not track request with browsing traffic this is also something I recommend that way it can't be used uh, by other websites you know Facebook is notorious for using cookies that have been stored on your browser so um, preload pages this is uh, set by default it's pretty much um, you know cut and dry here you can you set what sites you want to use cookies you you know clear out the cookies sites you don't want to ever use cookies you know it's a cookie emporium <laughs> so next one is security under privacy and security standard protection uh, is by default you can do the enhanced protection but you have to remember browsing data will be sent to Google so if you don't want Google to have your browsing data you know you know stay away from the enhanced protection so and of course no protection you definitely don't want to do that using secure DNS that's using the domain name service from your ISP so you definitely want to do that you can manage your certificates uh, advanced protection program these are all kind of a, a add-in for Chrome so you have to enable different services so you, you, they're good setting it you know just the way it is default site settings uh, this is where you control what different uh, categories or different uh, devices on your system that a website has access to like your camera and your microphone you know if you're running a laptop you definitely want to you know figure out how you want to set those up these are all set by default uh, asked before uh, normally it's just you know kind of right out of the box settings that's the way you want to do it uh, you can go through here you can actually uh, set up any of these you know your, your pop-ups are blocked flash is completely blocked you know flash is kind of gone now so um, and of course you have the additional content settings but out of the box these are pretty much you know default and uh, they work perfectly well so appearance well you know we've got appearance here there um, it's just just personal preference here you know how how you want the browser how you want it to look so search engines now this is a, another place that 
uh, malicious websites and, and extensions will try to manipulate because they want your or they want their search engine to display results for you know anything you search for so you know if you're not getting the search results when you you search for something like cat food or dog toys or something like that you go in here and check your search engine make sure that it's the one you want um, like I say a lot of these uh, malicious extensions will change your search engine and your default home page that's another place we're gonna look to see if your browser's been hijacked so yeah this is definitely some place you want to look make sure that uh, it's set your your the search engine you want to use is set so and uh, your default browser is this kind of just uh, generic that springs up the Windows default app settings so you can set Google as uh, Google Chrome as your default browser so on startup this is another place that will get hijacked because what they'll do is they'll actually set a set of specific pages to open up. So when you open up Chrome and you get, uh, you know, a lot of times you, you get a, a, a funky bar up here, a search bar. And you, you, you don't know where it came from. And, uh, you know, basically it, it's uh, just, you know, junk uh, adware crap like that so if you come up in here and you actually see open a specific page or set of pages you know look through it and see if there's any any pages you don't recognize if you don't recognize it get rid of it you can actually just go back here and and, and reset it to open new tab page so let's click on advanced and advanced is over here you notice the menu on the left hand side actually you know expand it out so languages you know this is again personal preference here downloads personal preference I personally like to be asked where I download where my downloads are going to go because sometimes I'm, I'm downloading for a specific project and I want to put those files inside of a project folder so I like to be prompted it doesn't have to necessarily go to my my users down my download folder in my user profile so again uh, printing it's you know user profile uh, user preferences there accessibility again user preferences system this is another place you want to look is this continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed unless you're using the uh, Google Apps like Google Docs Google Sheets you know using the offline version you know it, there's no reason to keep Google Chrome running a lot of malicious extensions will actually set this to run and by default it is set on so that Google Chrome will run even after you close it in fact a lot of times it'll be set to actually start up when Windows starts up so any malicious extension is actually running even though you don't see Chrome you know actually physically running it's actually running in the background so I always highly recommend switching that off unless you need it and of course um, you know, unless you're using uh, Google Apps offline, you know, definitely just go ahead and turn it off. It, it's always best. Restore settings to the original defaults. This is a primary place to go if if Google Chrome just isn't working, and you've gone through, you've cleaned out your cache, you've reset your home page. Um, yeah you can go in here you can do the reset settings what this is going to do is it's going to turn off all the extensions 
we're going to go into the extensions here in a second and we're going to uh, well we're going to check and see if there's anything in there that you don't recognize you know we're definitely going to get rid of it but right here right now uh, reset your settings this will take it right back to default it won't uninstall any of the uh, extensions that are there right now so but that's a good place to start to do it clean up computer this actually has a small version of est antivirus in it and it'll actually scan your system and it'll find things that affect google chrome okay not necessarily your whole computer but it will find things that will you know, that affect google chrome and clean it up so that that's a uh, another place to actually look so let's go ahead and we're going to scroll down here let's go to extensions I go saying before these this is one place you'll f I, I constantly find clients and customers actually have plethora of junk extensions running here and you know what Google considers malicious and what I consider malicious are probably two different things but um, yeah, I figure if I didn't install it you know and it doesn't serve a function that I really need I'm going to disable it all right just slide the little switch over here like that you know go boom there and then I'll test Chrome if it's something that I can live without I'm just going to go ahead and remove it um, but you know if you do that uh, reset button back there and uh, you, you go back over here your settings and, and you actually do that restore settings it's going to turn off all the extensions over here it's not going to remove them okay you have to come over here and you have to physically remove any one of, one of them and uh, like I say if you don't remember installing it and it, it you know I see a lot of uh, PDF extensions you know dr pdf pdf builder you know blah 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 and maps you know there's a lot of a lot of uh miscellaneous uh find me a map extensions you know so yeah you know, if you don't know where it came from you know disable it if it if the function you know it's not serving it serving a purpose you know just remove it get rid of it and, and get it cleaned up but if, if all else that fails and it still doesn't work for you then it's time to actually uninstall Google Chrome so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that two different ways to uninstall Chrome we're going to click on the start button we're going to go to settings the little gear icon go to settings and we're going to go to apps and we're going to scroll down the apps until we find Google Chrome. And then we're going to click on Google Chrome and we'll click on install. That's one way to un uninstall it. Number two is we can go to the, to the search panel, search box here, and we can type in control. You know, I say control panel, but you know, you can say control all right like that boom we'll bring up the control panel uninstall program and uh, google chrome boom click on install it's gone once it's uninstalled then we actually have to go in and we have to clean up the the data left over from it okay so over on the blog over here geeks in Phoenix I'll go ahead I'm going to bring up Firefox and we'll actually go over there and I'll show you that we've got a little script there this is the new version we've actually went ahead and uh, rewrote it and we're going to we got the video this video over inside of it so 
we're just bringing it up here okay let's go ahead we're going to scroll down there's a little piece of code down here right there okay this little piece of code we're going to take this code and then we're going to cut and paste that code uh, I always recommend using the run dialog box you can right click on the start button bring up run that way or you can use the Windows logo key and R and that will bring it up too and if we paste that little bit of code in here okay what this is going to do is going to take us to the hidden folder where Google Chrome saves its data so once you've uninstalled Google Chrome and you restarted your computer come back over you actually open up this the app data local Google folder there's Chrome you go ahead you clean that out you get rid of that then we'll go back over here and say we're going to go to uh, program files we're going to look in here there's Google there's Chrome we're going to delete that too once you get both of those folders cleared out all you have to do is go ahead download Chrome again and reinstall it and at that point you should be all cleaned up have a brand new clean browser and be ready to go and if you did do the synchronization you did do Google Sync you go back into Google you you resynchronize you add that account into the new version of Chrome that you just downloaded and everything will come right back so for more geek tips Go on over to geeksandphoenix.com. Alright, have a great day.